<laughs> Would you look at that, Mom Bear? Made it to the divine palace of our dreams. Of the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama. Look at me, I'm doing a selfie with the divine palace of the gods. This thing is beautiful. It's bright. It's like it's just the purity of the, the sky shining down upon this place. Let's go inside. I'm going to give you a tour of the crib. The crib of divinity. Oh. It's Mama Bear entering the divine palace. We're in. We're in. We made it. Look at this. Do wow. We, do we need these? Wow, it's the palace. That's so beautiful. Mama Bear, let's get a quick selfie with the divine magical palace of the sky. Of the Dalai Lama. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. We're approaching the palace. Yeah. A little tired, I can't talk. And here we go, into the white palace of the sky. Palace courtyard. Good golly, look at this. A part of a horde. So, uh, this is the last part we can actually use the video camera and camera, so you're gonna miss out on the inside of the palace. Just like the rest of the temples that you really missed out on, and it sucks. That's usually the coolest part. Look at all these fellas. I'm a part of it. I'm a part of the swarm of tourism. Oh, there's no monks here. Upset. <laughs> Just came out of the palace. That was a spectacle. Was yeah. The tombs of the seventh Dalai Lama. Yeah. Through the twelfth. Twelfth or thirteenth. Through the twelfth. Like I that. don't know where the thirteenth is. They had like massive, uh, like uh, tombs gold made out of tombs. solid gold and just it was unlike anything I've ever seen before. It was pretty incredible. It sure was. It will never be documented though on film. So we just came out of the palace in of the sky, and uh, it was a phenomenal experience. Uh, no cameras are allowed in there, so we I missed out on some of the best filming I would have ever had. But uh, it was so cool to experience it. This must have been magical back in the day. Panoramic view from the sacred palace of this guy. This was the home for all the Dalai Lamas. Sadly, China kicked out the most recent Dalai Lama and uh, screwed him over pretty well, along with the rest of the Tibet. But uh, it was neat to learn about that history and kind of the sadness of it, and it's still going on. Um, I'd uh, I'd compare it to Nazi Germany, actually. Yeah, it's and it's happening as we speak. Well, we are uh, leaving the sacred palace of the sky. Probably never to return again, sadly enough. But uh, what we saw today was so cool. It was nice because we got to escape the crowds and actually go walk through the palace. And it was beyond anything I could have ever imagined in like my wildest dreams. Like there was just massive, 
pieces of art that were made out of gold that had so much detail that it was just it was mind-boggling that that was a thing. This place is quite the hustle and bustle. Oh my the gosh. cars in front of us. Oh my gosh. I think we have a flat tire. So our last night lost to Tibet. We uh, we're going to the Tibetan side of the Everest base camp. Starting tomorrow, we're beginning our journey. Um, decided to do risk our lives to do a sketchy bike ride through we're some gonna, hectic we're streets. Pass. We're gonna pass. We're gonna oh, pass. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna wave at these fellas as they we go by. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. We got this. We're doing it. We're doing it. Ah. <laughs> He's just quick. <laughs> So we are uh, currently heading off to Shigatsu, which is one of the biggest cities in Tibet. I think it's possibly the biggest. We have a 12 hour car right ahead of us and uh, doing a bunch of little stops along the way like this. There's somebody standing out of the bridge, but... Mom bear is looking for a place to go pee. I did already. Oh, you did? Good for you. And so is High Diana. Five. So is Diana, so don't video. <laughs> Good golly. This is quite the place. It's a lion. Selfie with the big dogs on the mountain. Good God, those are some big dogs. These dogs are huge. Aww. What altitude are we at? 13,531 feet. Wow. We uh, drove our bus up a really crazy, sketchy road to this weird mountaintop animal show thing. And uh, <laughs> it's weird. It's a strange place. It's like the highest animal show ever, I think. 13,000 feet. Our driver was getting on like two wheels on the right up here along like a cliffside. Just cruising. Hey. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, with, with her in there. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that girl. Oh, I love you. Oh. You're so cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to get in here, man. Oh. It's so fluffy. Hmm. She's good. Yeah, she's good. She's a pro. She knows her stuff. Now she's going to take All off the... running. <laughs> yeah, right. They're so oh, they're sweet. So soft. I want a little goat. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Taking oh. the hat. It's the hat's sick. coming with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're at the top of the pass at about 16,000 feet. 
definitely feel the elevation. Uh, I had the craziest deja vu walking up this thing. It's wild because at altitude, I always have the craziest dreams and I'll have like crazy realizations or deja vu. There's just something about it, you know, but yeah, look at this place. It's fucking beautiful. Wow. This is incredible. It's nice not having to climb all the way up here. You can get up here, still plenty of energy to enjoy stuff. <laughs> but uh, I do like climbing mountains too. Hello. Hello. Hi. Right. <laughs> So we're like somewhere in the middle of the Tibetan plateau. <laughs> Who knows? Never thought this place would even exist. No, pretty incredible. Yeah, it's here though. Peaceful. So we are at uh, the debating room of the Buddhist temple. Um, not my camera with me, but iPhone takes really good 4K video now. And uh, so yeah, this is the debating, debating temple area. We wish we knew the language and knew what they were talking about. But we do know. These are all made out of sand. It takes eight Buddhist monks, seven days to make one of these things out of sand. <laughs> 